things off in Northwest, where protesters trolled the Russian embassy by putting up a fake street sign outside of it that reads President Zelensky Way. Protesters have put up a fake sign declaring a street near the Russian embassy as Zelensky Way. Of course, Vladimir Zelensky is the president of Ukraine. The Russian embassy on Wisconsin Avenue Northwest has become a meeting point for people protesting Russia's invasion for the last two weeks. Honestly, that sign design was kind of fire. I, I don't hate it. I, I will say that. The petty is strong with these protesters. See, this is how you get your message across. Not by wasting gas circling around the beltway. They got a graphic designer to create a street sign, then put it in plain view of the Russian diplomats. They're going to have to see the name Zelensky when they wake up, when they brush their teeth. They're going to see it when they eat their borscht for dinner. This is the closest thing to yelling at them like Samuel L. Jackson. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is Zelensky when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Yes, they deserve to be trolled, and I hope they burn it. Well, you know the rest. This, this is a family show. Oh, y'all didn't even use my steaks on a plane ad lib. Oh, that's rough. All right, well, anyway... I see where this can possibly go. The fake street sign with a, uh, a little speaker that gives you your Samuel Jackson. Why choose when you can have both? But already well done protesters. Not only was this clever, but they trolled the Russians from a very safe distance. Very smart on their part. Let's head over to Berlin, Maryland for this next story where George's Beverage Company is partnering with seasoning maker McCormick to release an Old Bay flavored vodka later this month. Now, this is the most Maryland thing I have ever seen, specifically the most Ocean City thing. You know, they get their drink on. Now, this will work for Bloody Marys, but will people actually sip on vodka that tastes like crab chips? I mean, the way folks love crabs in this area, you know what? I feel dumb for even asking. I already know this is going to be a hit. Old Bay's blend of 18 herbs and spices now can get you drunk. Cookout season is officially on notice and it's going to be a mess. People can have crab feasts while drinking vodka that tastes like what they use to season the crabs. Oh, blood pressure doctors, be ready. By the way, please drink responsibly and don't order this at any bars if you plan to get your flirt on later. Okay, if you plan to shoot your shot, this is not how you want to open up. You can't get in somebody's face smelling like booze and crabs at the exact same time. The next story is out of Atlanta, Georgia, but unfortunately, it's actually going to affect all of us soon. According to experts, invasive web parachuting three inch long Joro spiders will begin to spread up and down the East Coast by the summertime. And y'all complained about the cicadas. I try to tell you, I try to tell you cicadas were just out here for love and y'all demonize them. Now what you got? I bet you'd rather deal with cicadas instead of these. Now, Juro spiders are originally from Japan, but they surfaced in Georgia and are expected to thrive. Yes, they're expected to thrive and expand since they can handle cold weather and they have no predators naturally. So I never signed up to be an, an extra in a real life version of Starship Troopers. Somebody's got to do something about this. Hey, maybe cicadas can come in and do something about this. No, you shoot them away with your hatred and your disrespect. Spider-Man is the only spider that I'm cool with glide through the air and he's fictional. If I really did see a human being climb up on the side of the wall, I definitely would freak out. I will admit to you that. Now the good news is that they are scared of people and are unlikely to bite anybody. And even if they do, their teeth are too small and their venom is too weak to cause any real harm, but they look creepy. And that's quite frankly, is all you really need. Just go on and close outside again so they figure out how to get rid of those things. Finally, I chose this last story because I like fast food and you know, I love drama. McDonald's is being sued for $900 million by a startup company called Kitsch that claims it tried to fix the chain's broken ice cream machines. Now, I actually got to give credit because I didn't even know they were trying to fix those. I, I, thought, they just, I thought they just took the L. I didn't, I didn't know they were actually working on it. The lawsuit accuses the fast food giant of false advertising and interference in its customer contracts. Where can I sign up for that? Just go ahead and take it off the menu. $900 million. Who knew McFlurries were that lucrative? According to a website called McBroken, well done there, which tracks the chain's broken ice cream machines. About 12.5% of McDonald's ice cream machines are currently out of use, 
and nearly 37% are not working in New York alone. Now you know it's bad when they need a whole website to track how often your machines fail, but I'll be honest, I was expecting those numbers to be way worse. 12%? No way when I ask 12% of the time it's broken. It's much higher than that. And why is New York like almost like triple everybody else? Is something about kicking the machine with Timberlands? They just never come back? I cross my fingers whenever I ask for ice cream at McDonald's. It feels like a coin toss whether I'm going to get ice cream or attitude. This lawsuit is a McMess. I hope they find a way to resolve it that actually gets the ice cream machines fixed because summer is only a few short months away and the streets need this. My favorite story, you know I like a good troll, the Zelensky way sign outside the Russian embassy. Anytime I get to quote Samuel Jackson, I'm a happy man despite they killed my snakes on the plane. Close second is the McDonald's machines. Thank you, Kitsch, for saying what needed to be said with money.